in this advanced surface tutorial we will create a turtle ball with the help of global variable if you check equations now let's say 15 enter 50 okay now see this is how we create a turtle ball with the help of global variable so let's make this advanced surface tutorial in SOLIDWORKS. Let's start to create turtle ball in SOLIDWORKS with the help of surface feature. Right click on any tabs, go to tabs option and activate surface tab here. Okay. Now first option, I'll go to tools, equations and here I'm going to define some global variable. So first is spike height power off press tab key and this is going to be 100 enter now second i am going to define spike radius tab and this is going to be 100 enter okay now this is going to be display say ok now let's start with right plane sketch now activate here center point arc start from origin point just drag your mouse and draw one quarter circle press escape key to out activate center line and connect these two points press escape key to out make sure vertical and this should be horizontal okay smart dimension either radius going to be 100 millimeter escape exit now again go to front plane sketch again i am going to activate the same center point arc start from here draw one quarter circle press escape key to out again define center construction line this is really helpful during operation so that's why we are going to define this construction line okay exit isometric view now go to surfaces and activate swift surfaces sketch profile now sketch 2 this already selected by default anyone you can select it's not a big deal now for path I am going to select this one. Now you will see the preview. Rest keep as it is. We don't need to add anything else. Now if I am going to add material. Let's say steel. It looks better. That's it. Now. Now we need to create few important planes. So I am going to show anyone. Okay let's say. Activate here plane select this point and you you will find one midpoint on this arc okay let's define this point and third reference we need to define one midpoint for this now see create plane now again i am going to define one more plane Again, I am going to select the center point. Now, this time I am going to use this edge. And here we have to define one midpoint. Now, see here. Now, for plane, delete. First, this one. Second, let's say this point. Okay. Now, this is what uh, the plane I want to draw. Now, again, I am going to draw one more plane third plane and this is important clear all first let's say right plane or front plane and see there is a mid plane going to create but flip see this is going to create at center of the surface say ok now activate here 3d sketch 
fine now here activate intersection curve now let's say i'm going to select this plane and this face okay now see a arc created again i am going to select this one and this surface okay again let's use plane to this surface okay cancel now cancel now let me hide these all three planes right click and hide see these things i want to create now here we need to create too many sketches and planes so we will do one by one now select plane third sketch now activate center line start from here and you will find one midpoint here now see we found one midpoint here escape key now select this outer convert entity trim entity power trim just drag this delete this one okay center line this is important line select this one and move cursor and you find midpoint select here escape key to out and even this line you can delete it it's not a big deal see this is we need it okay now in similar way we have to create in all the sides it's time to create one more plane activate plane now here first i am going to select this line and select this point we need to create plane on this way see here okay a sketch intersection curve now choose here only surface because we are only already in a plane say okay and you will see how we get this line exit exit click and hide the plane now select this which plane for this okay plane 3 sketch activate here center line and draw one center line even though you can extend from here hold and press press and hold shift key select these two lines collinear relation smart dimension equal to go to variable and choose here spike height okay now activate three point arc and connect from this point to here now this point to this point escape key to out normal now here choose equal to spike radius similarly for this global variable spike radius now simply exit see here now we need to complete this dome shape the, because this is a kind of tur turtle shape so we will use the previous sketch uh, plane 4 sketch now again i am going to activate three point arc now this time i am going to connect from this point to this point dimension now this is going to be global variable spike radius you will see the preview it's kind of dome shape going to create okay now here again we need plane number 5 select this point see this arc look how we created okay now go to plane three point arc and connect from here to this point is smart dimension now similarly defined global variable spike radius okay 
एग्जिट नाउ लेट्स हाइड एंड सी द प्रीव्यू लुक आर ज्योमेट्री परफेक्टली टुक द शेप Now here let's use field surface command and create this dome shape. So before going to create field shape, we need to make use 3D sketch and we will create one sketch so that it help us to create better option. Now hold shift key select these two lines convert entity. Similarly I am going to select this convert entity activate trim and delete this. Okay? Now we have one closed geometry and one sketch. Exit, go to surface and activate filled surface. See here it's selected. Now by default this is going to be contact because of the, these surfaces are going to coincide with this. There is a tangent and curvature. This is works only when there is a different surfaces going to attach with this. Keep optimized surface so it will gives you a similar result like lifted boss surface. Rest keep as it is. See one side is created. Let's go to other side. Three D sketch. I am going to select these three lines, a curves, convert entity. Similarly, activate trim entity. Move cursor and cut this. Okay. Exit. Again, activate filled surface. Now by default system, select this close profile. Contact. edge setting optimize surface see show preview if you uncheck show okay okay now comes here again i'll go to 3d sketch hold shift key select these three lines curves trim entity activate trim entity just move your cursor and delete with left mouse okay we have close profile field surface by default system activate this close profile this everything is same as it is okay now what else the last one here also we need to do the same we have to create one 3d sketch let me hold shift key and select this three curves convert entity act now activate similarly trim entity keep move cursor and delete this okay now exit and activate field surface select this everything keep as it is optimize surface show preview say okay and here we make a close spikes see Now here we want multiple number of pattern for this spike so we have to create axis drop down geometry reference geometry axis now here activate two point select this center one and this point okay one more axis now this time i am going to select top plane and right plane and you will see the preview it's going to be create here that's it axis 1 axis 2 now first before going to make multiple number of pattern activate knit surface and make merge these surfaces so that it makes ease for us say okay okay now you will see here only two body one and two now it's easy for us now activate circular now here i am going to select this edge now here select bodies select this equal spacing 360 and number of spikes we need 3 you will see the preview say okay now let's try to show you how it looks like isometric view now before going to make further we have to knit knit surface now we have let's say how many these three bodies okay now look this is already merged now go to again circular pattern this time axis i am going to select axis 2 now bodies 
select this and here equal spacing 360 degree and four number of patterns we like just see the preview I am going to say OK and look OK let's activate mirror and this is going to be perfect plane and here choose bodies to mirror now you have to select this all four bodies say ok if you make half section ok and there is a hollow so again there is one option called net surface now select all the bodies and going to merge and here first internal surface delete the body uh, swift surface and create solid ok now let me hide all this now see look this is how we created if you see section view this is going to be a solid ok this is the turtle ball let me save this Now if you change go to tools equations and if you are going to change this one let's say 20 enter and see this is changed again activate equations spike height if you change let's say 50 enter ok look the shape is changed according to that's why we apply global variable so according to need we can apply 50 100 ok don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solidworks thanks for watching